everyone. My name is Eric Hopkins, a.k.a. Joe. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This story is about a story that actually dropped about, I don't know, probably about a month ago now, but I didn't notice it at the time. And it's a little bit of a disappointment for me, and it's a little bit indicative of to a problem that I want to get into a little bit here when it comes to Hollywood and TV series in general. Um, those of you who are Star Trek fans probably really enjoyed, like I did, the Picard series, especially season three of Picard that was on Paramount+. Plus. Uh, well, the showrunner of the of season three especially is now – at least about a month ago, was talking about how there are now currently no developments uh, in regards to the Star Trek legacy spinoff that would have taken place after Star Trek Picard, and that's very disappointing to me. So let's take a look a bit at this article. Uh, it definitely talks about how right now there's currently no plans for the USS Enterprise G crew at the end of that series, which was amazingly ended well, in my opinion. Picard Season 3 did a great send-off for the Next Generation crew, Far better than Star Trek X Nemesis ever did. Uh, so I was very glad that they went back and uh, kind of revisited that whole storyline with all those characters. Uh, but it also did something that TV series tend to do a lot, which was, of course, set up more series and more shows. Uh, in this case, it was going to be revolving around USS Enterprise G crew, uh, Captain Seven of Nine played by the incomparable Jerry Ryan, as well as Commander Rafi, instant Jack Crusher, who was the son of Jean-Luc Picard. So I was very much looking forward to this series. Now, the, the showrunner does go on to say, quote, first, there's nothing to say about legacy. I wish there was, but yeah, there's, there's quite a few storylines that we talked about from the beginning about where that would go. And it's just such a rich opportunity. There's not been any discussions with Paramount about making the show. They have Star Trek that, and that they're making, and they have only so much money and streaming space. There's currently not any plans, but we're looking forward to whatever the Star Trek universe brings. And then he ends it by, by saying, never say never. So he doesn't close the door on it completely. He did go on to talk about how this series could actually become a film at some point. He said, look, anything is possible. We certainly wouldn't be, oh, no, we aren't going to do a movie. For me, I would just need this crew, I would need this cast, and as long as that was a possibility, we would figure something out. Yeah, a series is obviously ideal because there's so many stories to tell, and the 25th century in general in Star Trek is such a rich thing that they could develop stories with. If you're going to tease a new series, especially at the end of the, that final episode of Picard, there was legit scenes where they're talk where it looks like we're going to get a whole new TV series based on these awesome characters that they've set up. And a lot of times it's hard to set up new characters for series, especially when people love the old characters so much. So to, if you get the opportunity to create new characters that fans actually enjoy, as I did here, and then you give us a tease for a series that you currently don't have plans for, it's like, what were you guys thinking? I hate it when series do this, especially where they'll set up in the next season. They don't realize they're not getting a next season or they don't know they're not getting a next season yet or if they're going to be uh, continued. And then they put in these, you know, the teases for the upcoming show. And then all of, course, all of a sudden they get canceled or they don't have a plan for it. It's like, why do we do this? If you don't know if you're going to get renewed and you don't know you're going to get another season, don't tease anything else. Act like that season is the end of the show and write your stories and characters in a way that that's going to be the end of it. That way we don't get set up for, you know, disappointment. But for whatever reason, this is what TV does. And I understand it's, it's to, to build excitement for the next uh, season, probably. That way they do get renewed. But I think you just need to start having this worked out before you end the season. That way, you know, it just doesn't leave fans hanging like this. So I'm hopeful that eventually we will get this series. But as of right now, it sounds like Star Trek Legacy, which was the tentative title for it, of the Enterprise G crew may not be happening anytime soon. I do know that Star Trek has a bunch of other series they're doing right now, uh, and some of them are coming to an end as well, like uh, Discovery. Uh, but they're doing great things over there. I think the TV stuff they're doing on Paramount Plus has been really good for Star Trek, and it's revitalized the franchise a little bit. And I'm hoping that they'll continue to do that. But uh, again, I just I, I was looking forward to this, and I'm a little bit disappointed as a fan that they're not going to follow through with this, at least yet. But like he said, never say never, and hopefully that will happen sooner than later. But what do you guys think? Are you guys disappointed in the fact that we may not be getting Star Trek Legacy anytime soon? Uh, do you feel like I do where TV series just need to really stop teasing stuff if they don't know they're going to get another season or another show or whatever it might be? I just feel like that's bad storytelling, and then you get then you leave this cliffhanger that'll never get paid off. And movies sometimes do that too. And I really wish they wouldn't do that sort of thing. But I understand why they put them in. But just make sure you have a plan on where you're going if you're going to do so. So comment down below. Let me know what you guys think, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and follow Brandon and Miranda and their channels as well. Everything's in the description box below. So definitely check all that out. And until my next video, guys, take care, and God bless.